Hey there everybody, uh, Gideon's Tactical here again. I'm giving you a quick review on the Condor H2O pouch. Um, now this pouch is really awesome. I ordered this in just recently um, and uh, I really like this. I've used it on a couple trips um, and works really well for uh, what it's designed for and it's really good quality from Condor. I'm just really starting to get in some Condor products and I really like what I'm seeing. Um, you know, you saw the, if, if you look on my channel, there's the um, EDC. Uh, bag. I really like that EDC bag and I got this to go along with my EDC bag. So um, I got this Coyote Tan, love Coyote Tan. Um, I'll give you just some examples here. You got two steel D-rings um, right here and uh, we'll just kind of work our from our way out in. Um, so you can definitely use that, you know, you could run some uh, nylon um, straps through there and carry it, you know, over your shoulder, which is really cool because there's so much molly on this thing just all over the place that you could really use this almost as a self-contained, um, you know, half a day um, little bag, a little pack thing, um, and really use this for uh, uh, going on short hikes. You know, I mean, would be this would be great um, because you can strap, you know, a knife to it. You can strap another little pouch if you want. Um, it's got this huge bag right here. You could do another bag if you want to. It's got your, you know, Nalgene or whatever you want in here. I mean, you could really use this and then just throw it over your shoulder or put it on your belt. And this could be, it's, it's almost a little self-contained survival pack, um, which is really a cool um, idea. And I really like that they did it and designed it in such a way because there's some other companies do H2O pouches, but they, I've never seen any quite like this, particularly for the price point. So um, you got Velcro up here on the top. You can do, you know, a little, um, you know, different like recon, sniper, you know, whatever you want to put up there, your name, patch, whatever. Um, it's got this little hole right here that you can definitely, because um, I've done it, fit um, a bladder hose through if you wanted to use this for a small camelback um, bladder, platypus bladder type of thing. Um, <clears throat> this is um, definitely great for that. Obviously, like I said, Molly all around this thing, so you can attach tons of stuff to it. Um, you know, and the, you got these Molly uh, things right here that you can strap onto any type of pack, anything like that. Um, the outer pouch right here, I'll do that one first. Um, this outer pouch is very large. Uh, I put an ace bandage, um, a full-size ace bandage, and my full medical kit in here, and it fit just fine. Uh, I can get my whole hand in there. Uh, you know, it's, it expands really nice. Uh, you can see the little drainage hole right here for the actual um, water bottle compartment. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty big. Just to kind of give you some ideas. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. What do I got? I got my K-Bar Dozer. Uh, I mean, that's I could get like four or five of those in there. Um, just what are some other things that I have um, around? Um, you could almost get this book. Um, I got this little book in here. In fact, I bet you I could. Just, yep, yeah, I could definitely do that. Got that book. Um, come on. Just play with it a little bit. Yep, and it's still got some. Uh, it's still got some room left over. So um, that's a cool, um, nice big pocket right there. I mean, you could get a couple of different. Um, you know, you could probably get like four Cliff bars in there. Um, you could, you know, you could get a water purification kit. Um, you know, um, medical kit, fire starter kit, all in this uh, outer pocket right here. Then um, after that, let's go on to the main attraction. Why you bought this is to carry water. So you got dual zippers right here. Um, opens up again. You got this uh, bladder hole for the it's Velcro for the hose itself. You can see right there. Um, and uh, this is insulated, so it kind of keeps it. If it's hot, you know, if you put your coffee in there or something for some reason, it'll keep it hot. And if it's you know water, you know, or whatever, cold, it'll keep it cool. Um, so that's a nice little feature there. Um, that they insulated it, you know, it's not just canvas. Um, so here's a 32 ounce Nalgene, fits in there nice and snug, and you have this whole lid that's nice and big for extra, you know, extra stuff. So technically, this could ride all the way up here, and uh, you could get the, the lid over it. So you could put, um, I know GSI makes um, some camp cups, you know, so you could boil your water, you know, the cup slides right into the Nalgene, the Nalgene slides right in the cup, that would fit in there. Um, you know, you could pack the bottom lining, the, the bottom of the pack up to about this molly, up to the top of this molly. So, I mean, that's a good two inches there 
um, that you could pack with extra stuff. You know, you could put a rain poncho in there. You could put, I mean, I'm just trying to think of stuff. Um, you know, bandana. You could put just, I mean, you name it. You could put a bunch of stuff all the way up to the second row of Molly, or first row of Molly, the top of it. Um, and the, the, the Nalgene would ride right about there. And uh, the, that's plenty of room to, to zip it up, and this loop doesn't get in the way. You can just kind of move that. Um, it will hold uh, a 32 ounce platypus bladder with the um, tube as well. Um, I don't see anyone getting, I heard someone put that they put a 50, um, a 50 ounce uh, camelback in here and it fit. Uh, I don't see how. I, I think that's impossible. But cool, try it. But 32 ounce products. It will definitely hold no problem if it's a platypus, if it's you know a camelback bladder type of system, Nalgene's, uh, you know camelback water bottles, whatever. Um, this little guy is definitely going to hold it and carry it and keep it cool or hot depending on what you're putting in there. So um, just an awesome little uh, bag, you know, for the price point. Definitely better than the Maxpedition. Um, you know, I mean it's close to about half the price of that Maxpedition um, to get your hands on one of these Condor H2O pouches. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's just an awesome little thing. You can either put it to your, strap it to your big pack, carry it on your belt, carry it over your shoulder and really make it your own personal little survival kit out of just this little setup right here. So, um, that's my review. Um, remember stay equipped and stay prepared. So, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, comment. I love to hear comments. So I like to respond. Um, and thanks for watching, uh, Gideon's Tactical. Thanks.